oh I forgot to put my lights on oh my gosh like literally guys I've been so excited about filming this weekend because if you follow me on Instagram you will know that I had a fecking job interview this week I've been terrified I've been terrified all week so yeah do you know what just to be at this moment right now filming it feels so good and I'm, I'm not going to bore you telling you all about my anxieties about the interview but in a nutshell I had to kind of interview because well oh my gosh I'm telling you about it look at me oh my gosh you came for a haul I'm telling you everything so we were having a restructure and I had to kind of interview for the job that I already do it was kind of bizarre literally shitting myself all week about it and then I went in and it was fine so anyway guys also oh my gosh guys so, because the interview was successful, I bought myself a new stool. I mean, really, guys, look at her. Yes, she's basic. I did have my eye on another one, which was a really beautiful kind of grey crushed uh, like velvet look. But um, I decided to go for this one because like, I'm, I'm a basic kind of girl. You know me. And... I like this one folds up so I just thought this one's more functional do you know what I mean also I wanted to say I've got like a good lipstick on my teeth like I'm not gonna bore you anymore about the interview but it was it was bizarre because I think one of the reasons why I was so worried about it was because like I it's not like I was going to a new company interviewing for a new role. I'm basically sat there interviewing for the job like justifying really why I should do the job that I do. Do you know what I mean? And, and I thought to myself, if I feck this up, it's going to be the most embarrassing situation ever. My colleagues would just see a blur of pink in the car park as I legged it to my car. Shame. Could you imagine failing a job interview for a job that you do? Like I was thinking, oh my gosh, that's that that's such a me kind of thing to do. But anyway, that's not what happened. So yay -o. Anyway, I'm going to put my lights on. As always, I've got tons of my lipstick all on my teeth can you imagine if that happened in the interview today we have an aliexpress haul i've got some really fun things to show you today so without further job interviews and stools oh my gosh like what job interview stools anyway without anything further let's get into this Okay, so I know that you're going to be really excited about this because I am. So the Kamajoo Chill Baby eyeshadow palette arrived a couple of days ago. I've not opened her yet because I wanted to open her and kind of, you know, premiere her hair with all of you guys. I have super low expectations as to how this is going to look because Kamajoo, they're the prunes of AliExpress. Their products look shit but they perform really well in my experience. Yeah, let's open these now. And also, I am going to be doing a first impression on this palette after I film this video as well because I just love doing my makeup and then taking it all off and then putting it back on again, apparently. Oh, yes, it's shit. So, like, just what I expected. Really, like, we've got the same kind of... It's, I don't even think it's cardboard. It's like a sponge. I call it the sandwich packaging because it's it's so fucking cheap this is the cheapest of the cheap it, it looks crap but but i love kamajoo i love kamajoo kamajoo are the best for you they're not but they're really really good so okay should we see i'm gonna let you see first oh should i i know a few of you have tried this palette as well so um and you've told me it's actually really good i don't know why i'm just sat here with my eyes closed now I've had them closed for too long, haven't I, at this point? Right, I'm going to look. Ooh, do you know what? She looks really pretty, guys. She's got a pop of a coral. She's got some beautiful kind of summery shimmers. We've got like a pinky pink. And then we have a peachy peach. I mean, and then a light pink, pinky pink. And a goldy gold. So, yeah, this actually looks really, really pretty. I'm really, really looking forward to giving this one a go. So, I am going to be getting the video up ASAP. It'll probably be the next video that I put up. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying it. The matte shades look really, really kind of, you know, ideal for transition. I just feel like you've got a lot of options within this palette. So, okay, Kamajoo. I will nail you. 
Well, I won't nail you. Oh, it stinks. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Anyway, so that's Kamaju. Okay, so guys, the next thing that I'm about to show you, I believe that it was definitely sent to me in error because I know that I very rarely remember actually ordering items from AliExpress, but this, this, I know for a fact, like there's, there's no way in hell I would order this. So I don't know, I don't know how it got here, but anyway, it's a fecking Jojo Siwa bow. Like, I feel like it, if I did genuinely order this, and I know I could just kind of check by going through my order history, but I don't want to because I don't want to know that I bought it. But I'm going to say I did not buy it. So I don't know how this, this is here. I'm not a Jojo Siwa fan. I, I don't have anything against her, but she's, I'm not her demographic, I don't feel. And I can't see me wearing this bow unless maybe I bought it for someone else, like my niece, possibly. Maybe I did, actually. That's, that's actually what maybe did happen. I mean, it's pretty, but it's a little bit chaotic. Like, you know, I love a good kind of pastel, rainbow, brightly coloured, childlike kind of um, aesthetic and I do love the angel wings they're kind of metallic and they look so beautiful but I think everything together in one bow is a little bit OTT and I, I never thought I'd hear myself say that but this is just like I don't know and it's, it's a fake because it's from AliExpress and I don't think Jojo Siwa sells via AliExpress but like this is it this is the bow the bow. Should I try it on? Shall we see what it's like? So it's got a little clippy bit at the back. So if I just like, just pop it there. Is this a look? Do you think that in celebration of my successfully getting the job that I already do, should I go into work on Monday with the bow? You know what? Now it's on. I kind of like it. I don't think it's terrible. And I think it looks like a little hat. You know, like um, a fascinator, do they call it a fascinator? You know when you just got a little plop of like something on your head? People wear them to weddings. Um, that's what I feel like it is. Do you know what? I am feeling this. I'm keeping it on. I feel like a dragon on Dragon's Den. I'm in. Is that what they say? Oh no, Duncan says, I'm out. I'm out. Well, I'm in. She's in. Anyway, okay, so Jojo Siwa. I don't know. I feel like, oh my gosh, I could be Jojo Siwa. Like, I need to take a selfie of me as Jojo Siwa. I feel very good, actually, with the bow. I like the bow. Okay, so I'm going to take a selfie. Like, why not? Okay, I'm leaving it on, guys. Like, you think I'm not? I definitely am. I love it. Okay, so next I got a face mask, and I believe that this is one of those black face masks that has like glitters and like little stars in it that just look really really pretty completely ripping off glam glow but who has 40 fecking pounds to spend on a tiny little tub of face mask not me if that face mask was going to be staying on like for 24 hours then i think it would be kind of worth paying the money but when you're just gonna have a face mask on your face for five minutes, 10 minutes. Feck that. Anyway, so this one is called Star Mask and it's good to see that AliExpress have hopped right on the glittery face mask trend. And that actually triggered me buying this was that Honey's has recently, unexplicably got into face masks. Like, I don't know how that happened, but he loves a good face mask. Like, don't tell his friends. I don't know if that he would want them to know, but actually I don't think he'd really care much. He's a metrosexual. Like, he's not. I don't think he would appreciate me calling him a metrosexual. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but he's a macho man. Well, he's not a macho man. I mean, he's just a man who likes face masks. I might get a t-shirt. Just a man that enjoys a good face mask. Do you know what I mean? This mask claims to be deep cleaning, pulling tight, fade fine lines okay so simple to the point i like it oh we have a little plastic situation like a mustache it's a bit worrying in in the ingredients the first ingredient is water the second it just says essence like essence of what could that not be like a million and one different things like 
like what you're in essence like i'm not saying there's your oh shit i've just dropped it it's like feck i'm not saying there's your in 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 that aliexpress product but it's just saying essence is like a little bit like shady kind of okay so this is what she looks like i would definitely feel more warm to her if the sticker had been applied with greater care i mean look at this shit job at applying a sticker i'm sure there's like i don't know a guy called jeff his one job is to apply the stickers evenly and then he just one day thought feck this i can't be asked anymore feck this job feck these stickers feck symmetry i'm fecking out of here so I don't appreciate that, but do you know what? It's fine. I can get over it. I've just caught sight of the underneath. Look at these stars. I just feel like this is going to be such a fun experience having this on my face. I think honeys will enjoy it. It'll be a good bit of like a pamper and bonding session for us. So this actually looks really, really good and it was super, super cheap. So I don't know, like, I don't know. I honestly didn't buy this thinking that it was going to be the best skincare in the world i bought it because i just thought it would be like a fun 10 minutes whilst it's on your face a good opportunity for a selfie you know and i thought honeys would like it so anyway this is the star mask and i'll film a clip actually if i can i don't know if i'll be able to like put it in the end of the video but if not i'll put it in a future aliexpress haul so that you can see I was just thinking in my head then, that's the clip that nobody wants to see, like nobody cares. You're thinking I'm Winata. We've seen a million and one people at this point have a black star mask on their face. We do not need to see it anymore. Thank you. Okay, so the next two products are kind of fun actually. If you kind of follow me a little bit, like I don't want to, I don't know what to say without it sounding like I'm, I'm up my own ass or something but if you are familiar with me then you will know that I love to constantly like dye my hair change it up try new colors I say that really I just I kind of dye it pink sometimes like silvery purple so actually I could definitely be more adventurous with my hair but I feel like I've started on that journey now because for a long time I've really been wanting to dye my hair two colors yellow and like a neon lime green. Both of these colors I know are probably not necessarily like the most like work appropriate colors, but when has that ever stopped me? Do you know what I mean? Especially now I've got my new job. So why not celebrate dyeing my hair like lime green? But anyway, guys, I'm going off the point. Also, I've wanted to cut my hair as well for a while because I never wear my hair down. I say that it's kind of down. It's, it's having your hair plaits down. Or is that not? Because it, my hair technically is down, like literally down, but it's not down, down. Like it's down, but not down, down. I bought myself two wigs, a lime green and a yellow so that I could try out the colors, see how they look on me before actually committing to dyeing my hair. And I also got the shorter wig because I wanted to see how I would look with a bob. I know. Can you imagine? And do you know what I know? If I ever actually got a bob, I would fucking hate it. I would hate it. I, and I would regret it. So I probably won't get a bob. But anyway, at least I've got my wigs. But these look really funny, actually. Like, they were super cheap. They cost about £3 each. And I know they're going to look like they probably cost about a pound. But anyway, you know, you get packaging and they'll have, like, you know, a model on the front. And usually, like, you know, if you think of, like, a mascara advert a lipstick or perfume advert actually perfume adverts are a bit pretentious aren't they it's a bit like ew, ew, look at me and you're thinking what's the fucking connection to perfume here but unlike deodorant adverts everybody looks so happy to be like putting their deodorant on they know i'm not going to be smelling today I'm feeling good about life unfortunately i feel like no, like no offense to the model i think she's absolutely gorgeous but she looks totally over this wig she just looks fecked off she has an almost apologetic look on her face as, as if to say why why did you buy this like why i on one hand i feel like 
sad for her, but on the other hand, I kind of feel sad for me. So I'm going to try these on and we can we can see once and for all what would I look like. Not that anyone cares. Like, I know you don't care, but that like I care. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to regrettably take my Jojo Siwa bow out as well because um, her time is done. I mean, imagine if she was here. I mean, that was... That would look crap. Oh, okay, so which one should we do first? Should we go green or yellow? I think I'm going to go yellow first. Why not? Okay, so she comes in a net. A bit of net. You know, high class all the way here. A little bit of net. I was thinking, what could I use that for? Uh, nothing. It's, it's good. It's going in the bin. I mean, really. Okay, so here she is in all of her glory. She looks kind of nice, you know. Surprisingly for... Three pounds? Oh, it's the fringe that's fecked. Oh, gosh, that's fecked. Right, okay, so, okay. So how am I going to do this? Maybe if I, like, I don't know, if I tie my hair, like, up here, like, like that? I don't know, is that, is that a thing? If I just go like, oh, I like this. Oh, my gosh, I have to take a selfie. This is a look right now. This is a look. It fell down, guys. I was trying to do a selfie. The fucking thing fell down, didn't it? I mean, really, guys. Okay, we are ready. We are ready. So, okay. Okay, Where where's the front bit? Okay. So, like, do I just go like this? Where's the front bit? Like, what? I could crimp it. I just thought that would be great. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, back to, like, I can't even work out how to get it on my head at this point. So I should probably work that out before crimping. Um, okay, so this is the fringe. So if I go like this. What? That's not quite what I was expecting. Um, okay, like, I knew it was going to be shit, but not quite, like, this shit, unless I've just not put it on properly, which is definitely something, look at the fringe, why is that fringe so bad, oh my gosh, like, I love the colour though, I think the colour is great, I really like the colour, but there's something completely out of control about this wig, like, particularly at the back, but it's very shiny, it's very sh I'm kind of I don't know if I love it or hate it at this point. I mean, I really like the colour. I really like how shiny it is. I actually like the kind of unkempt, scruffy, looks like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards, frontwards, backwards again, and then frontwards just for good measure. I kind of like that look. It's just, it's just the fringe, I feel, that's letting it down. And I feel like it could be crimped. Um... Like, what do you think, guys? Am I being too harsh or am I being too kind? I know the fringe looks hideous, but I don't mind, like, the rest of the wig. I don't mind it. Like, it's not as bad as I was expecting. And I actually really, really like the colour. You know what I'm going to do, guys? Making selfie. I mean, really, guys. Okay, let's do this. Oh, honeys! Oh, wow. <laughs> what were you thinking about it, honeys? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, honeys, I know it looks crap. Yeah. Honeys, you can say, you know, you won't hurt my feelings. No, it, looks it looks terrible. No, but do you like the colour, though? Or can you not look past the overall crapness? It's just poor. I do even like it to a wig. It looks very shiny, though. It, it looks kind of punky, kind of 80s. Eddie Rowe, both the boys are asleep. <gasps> I'd love a nap. Yeah, because we can stay up late tonight. Yeah. Okay, okay. I've got a green one too. Oh, no. <laughs> no, three pounds. Honey, three pounds. Honey was trying to be super kind. He was like, because mm, I think he thought I liked it. And he was like, honey, I have some style, like sometimes. Not all the time, just like on occasion. This is the other one. I was just about to take my selfies and then honey's walked in so i'm gonna oh my gosh it looks a lot worse on my phone like here i mean i'm filming on my phone but this is a more modern phone than this so like this is like hd and all of a sudden i've realized just how bad it looks i mean really 
Okay, anyway, I'll do a selfie. Why not? Okay, so guys, next we're going to move on to the green wig. I'm kind of excited. Like, I don't necessarily regret buying this. I mean, would I buy it again? No. Will I wear it again? Definitely not. But I feel like it'd be fun nonetheless, you know? I, I mean, I feel like that about a good portion of my aliexpress purchases but you know it's always fun and um, this is the green one i have never ever dyed my hair green before i did actually actually I tell a lie when i was like about 13 but I, like i it wasn't a conscious thing do you know what the wig the, the wig what the fringe looks so much better on this one can you see like it doesn't look like my three-year-old has um you know cut it so that's always a good thing you know so let's let's say goodbye to yellow okay yellow i was gonna say you go in the bin but no you you just go go relax down there for a while and never come out again i mean really let's do this okay where's the front okay okay oh what the feck if, if any of my neighbours were like watching me, I mean, that would be a bit creepy, but I bet they would just think, oh my gosh, like, what is she even doing right now? She sat talking away to herself whilst trying on the crappiest, cheapest looking wigs ever. That's not right, is it? No, I didn't do that right. But what, what have I done wrong? Like, how, how can you even go wrong with putting a wig on? Like, it's... It's not like applying eyeliner, like what's going on in the world? Okay, so I, I know that these plaits aren't helping, by the way. I really understand that. Like I appreciate and I take full responsibility. The plaits on my head are making the situation a lot more challenging right now. So I, I get that. But okay, let's do this. I'm going in, guys. She is going in. Oh, fuck. It's gone in my eye. Shit. Ouch! Ouchie! It's got just got just got stabbed in the eye by the fucking wig. Okay, so like, it's okay. Okay. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm kind of lost for words with this. Again, like, I don't really mind the the length of it. I can't believe that I'm just like honestly like critiquing the wigs. I like this one definitely feels or looks a lot better than the other one. I I think Jeff, you know, sticker guy Jeff, when he left the sticker factory, he decided, do you know what? I feel like I would be good with the wigs. Um, but after working there for 12 months again, he just thought, feck this, feck it all, feck the wigs. Feck the wig factory, can't be asked anymore. And that's when he got the yellow wig and he just fecked it right up. It's, mm, mm, mm. like I just don't know what to say. I don't think the colour's bad, like I kind of like the colour. And definitely in the future I can see that I will dye my hair like a neon lime green because I really, really like the look. I think it looks great on everybody who does it. And I like the length, like I feel like one day maybe I will cut my hair probably not anyway you know probably not but here i am here she is in the green wig and i just i have no words none you know what i'm gonna do now guys take some fucking selfies mm -hmm. i feel very 80s in this wig like yes but yes mm -hmm. i feel like the fringe is a bit weird like what why why is he so long i feel like maybe jeff this was the wig that he worked on before the yellow one when he was just starting to feel like his soul had been ripped out of his body and he started going a bit wayward um with this one because it just there's things wrong with it okay so guys like i am um, oh shit okay so guys i've got one more product to show you i'm gonna keep the wig on because i'm gonna keep it for my thumbnail picture so that People are like, oh my gosh, did Amwin dye her hair? Like, has she gone green? Has she gone short? Has she gone crazy? 
we just don't know so anyway guys the last product and i promise it's not a wig is a foundation it says foundation and contour like i don't quite know how that would work but uh, this is by the Camuse brand who always have exquisite expensive looking packaging um unlike Camuju um and actually the products like I've only tried a couple of things by Camuse but I've actually really liked them I've got a really pretty um it's like a glowy kind of blush and it's in packaging very similar to NARS it's called Mineral Match 2 in 1 foundation and contour it claims to be waterproof it's got spf 45 in it so let's have a look i mean it sounds legitimate but let's see oh my gosh okay so immediately this reminds me of l'oreal what's it called match M match perfection match muffins match mania do you know the one i mean mineral match is it mineral match i don't know but you know everybody knows when i first started watching youtube about 10 years ago the, the this like not this but the l'oreal one that just looks so similar true match making true match oh my gosh that's the one i'm sure that's the name anyway but oh my head is so hot by the way in this wig i should probably take it off but I, I just want to leave it on for the thumbnail. But anyway, yeah, back when I first started watching uh, YouTube, every single beauty YouTuber would wear True Match. Every single one. It was like, they'd have True Match foundation. They'd have Laguna bronzer by NARS. They'd have the Naked One palette. And they'd have... I can't remember anything else but every, that was the thing back then we'll be trying this out very very soon i am hoping it's going to be great as i always do but we will see we will see but this feels like strange because it's like tickling my chin i've never really had my tin chickle chickled what Ch tin chickled that's what my mouth for but i've never had my chin tickled before and i'm not liking it i'm not down with the clown and ready to have my chin tickled that's not my thing but anyway guys i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching i will be trying out the face mask of course chill baby i'm gonna be trying this out imminently and i also i, I don't know why i'm telling you this in this video but i've, I've started so i'll finish i'm gonna be trying out the you can be um lip products as well so that video will most likely come after the chill baby eyeshadow palette but anyway guys i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching also thank you so much for all of your support over the past week on instagram um just encouraging me giving me really kind of wise words of wisdom wise words of wisdom does that make sense i don't know but just making me feel a lot better about the interview so thank you so much i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video bye my wig won't see you again no that this wig no alex what do you think this is hair hair yeah. would you like to try it on can i sit on my knee Okay, which one, the green or the yellow? The green. The green one? Okay, you look in there and I will put it on. Are you ready? This is going to be cool. Are you excited? Because you had your hair cut, didn't you? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I had it cut again. You want to have it cut again? Oh, what do you think? Oh, Alex, that looks so good on you. I do. Do you want to try the yellow one? Do you not like the green one? No. No, really? Oh, no. I like this one. You like the yellow one? Okay. Now, this one, this one is a little bit crazy, or it was on Mummy anyway. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, do you not want it? I know of the energy drink. Some of the energy drink. I don't know if that would be a good idea. Oh, should I? Oh. oh. Okay. You have a tiny little sip. There's not much left anyway, bud, because Mummy's drank it all. Do you want to try my glasses on? Tea, tea, tea. Look, these are Mummy's. 
Mummy's professional looking. I want to go back down. Oh. Hi. Oh, I love you. I love you more. I love you more. I love you more. Living as long as my Oh, there she is. <laughs> honey's, I love it. Do you like it, honey's? It goes, the green really complements your colourings. Yeah, I'm still aware of it. <laughs> That'll spoil your video. Oh, I have to edit that out. Oh, shame. Edited honey's rude comment out. It looks good. Honey's, it looks surprisingly good. I can pluff anything. You That's what pluff. she said. <laughs> yes. Yes, bitch, yes. Bitch face. <laughs> 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 <laughs>